World Trade Report 2023 asks a big question. What is the role of international trade in building a more secure, inclusive and sustainable world? While it's widely acknowledged that international trade brings about large efficiency gains, it is increasingly argued that some of these gains need to be sacrificed in order to pursue more important policy objectives. In particular, maintaining peace and security, reducing poverty and inequality, and achieving a sustainable economy. While trade continues to thrive in many ways, trade tensions are rising and false signs of fragmentation are emerging. Trade is gradually becoming reoriented along geopolitical lines. Smaller and developing economies are the ones that, that are most at risk from, from some of the trends that we are seeing, fragmentations, because they are the most dependent on, on, on imports from, from advanced economies. So I think it is very crucial to keep in mind that a lot of the gains we have made in poverty eradication, in convergence, um, in increasing living standards in these economies is at risk if, if countries turn away from the multilateral trading system uh, and from broad-based globalization. However, talk of deglobalization is still far from supported by the data. Bilateral trade between China and the United States reached a record high in 2022. Trade was remarkably resilient during the COVID-19 pandemic, bouncing back to pre-pandemic levels less than a year after the first wave of lockdowns. And trade and digitally delivered services remained strong all along, growing at an average rate of 8.1% between 2005 and 2022. We need to embrace trade instead of rejecting it if we want to overcome the most pressing challenges of our time. In particular, the report makes the case for extending trade integration to more economies, to more people, and also more issues, a process that we call re-globalization. Every economy participating in re-globalization by putting international cooperation first, by not acting unilaterally, sends a message to all the other members. And it doesn't matter if these countries are, are big or small. Every country can do its part by, by putting cooperation first um, to make sure that re-globalization works. And the evidence in the report shows that re-globalization is the best way forward to address the key challenges of today. Mm -hmm.